Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm going to try to share this with you. I'm sorry the sun's coming in washing me out again, but it is what it is. I'm doing the best I can here, y'all. I still can't figure out how to get that video I made last night up here. I made slightly too long of a video and it won't email. So, okay, that's... <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. i got to unsync it from my computer to get the OneDrive to install because it's telling me it's already installed and it's not. I'm just not technical. I'm just... It's over my head. Oh, there. That looks better. Okay. If we can keep the sun off of me, I, at least I don't look so well washed off. Washed out. <laughs> All right. So let me try to read this part that's in the email and I'll link it so you can, if you're interested... You can check it out. It's called, titled, Biden Regime Shutting Off Fuel Energy Supplies as Acts of War Against We the People. Well, it's by Mike Adams, again from Brideon. And this is a newsletter I get called Natural News. I get his other one, too. I don't know how I got signed up for both, but whatever. I get them twice, so I don't miss them. Um... This sounds a little bizarre, right? He says, In his latest act of total warfare against the American people, Joe Biden is pushing to shut down the Line 5 pipeline in Michigan that transports over 500,000 barrels of crude oil per day from Canada to Michigan, where it gets processed and distributed throughout the Midwest. Hmm. I hope it doesn't end like this, but where where I see it going is unfortunately the same thing that happened in February in Texas. People freezing in their homes, said an industry expert. Yes, some of that oil heats people's homes. Texas Senator Ted Cruz is already talking about secession in order to escape the total destruction of Biden and the Democrats. Well, one thing Mike needs to understand is that Biden is being told what to do by Barack Obama, who never left Washington, by the way. That may sound like a bizarre statement to some of you, but he is the Antichrist. He pulls the strings. Biden himself was caught on a TikTok video. Someone recorded it at one of his rallies or a press conference or something. Saying, I am not your president. Trump is still your president. And as we good Catholics like to say, may God have mercy on our souls. And that was all it was. A very short video. I can't remember. I did not share it. I'm sorry. I should have. Because that's proof again. Biden's not. He is a puppet head. But so was Trump. There's so many people, including some relatives of mine, that are all, oh, Trump's coming back. Trump's going to make America great again. We got to have Trump back. And everything will be okay. And they... They're anti, you know, getting the venom. They are a few of my many relatives that haven't taken it. But they don't seem to remember it was President Trump that was made to put Operation Warp Speed in action. He brought it out. The ones who took it, took it because of the fear-mongering going on on mainstream media. It gets me so angry. How people sit and listen to their news every night and they're telling the truth, according to them. The news is the truth. Those of us who say anything against the truth, oh my gosh, we're dumb. We're lying. We're making stuff up. We're fear-mongering. We don't know what we're talking about. I've heard it all. And it's like, how do you compete with that? We were all raised to watch that boob tube, as we called it when I was younger. 
now it's a tell lie vision. It's a lie. They tell lies after lies after lies. And it just makes me sick. Okay, you got to hear me rant. Moving on, it says, Texas Senator Ted Cruz. Oh, I, I read that. He wants to succeed from the union. I don't blame him. He said, we're not there yet. And if there comes a point where it's hopeless, then I think we take NASA, we take the military, we take the oil, said Senator Cruz. Hmm. Good luck with that, dude. He don't know who he's up against. Like President Kennedy trying to say, secret societies are repugnant to a democratic society. He wanted to tear them down. CIA too. And look what happened to him. Yeah. Keep on keeping on, Senator Cruz. You're going to end up like Kennedy. Other, because Illuminati is not going to let nobody stop them except Jesus Christ. You see, they don't want to think about that. No, but our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and Father God are in control. They say what goes. Not a senator, not a president, a puppet head president, and not even Barack Obama working for the Satan himself. All right, let me continue. Other, now that's blocking my reading. Other analysts are calling for succession, nullification of the corrupt criminal federal government right now, explaining there's nothing left to save. Now we have to cut ties, just for heaven's sakes, just to survive. Please, I, I hate these notifications that keep blocking what I'm reading. Somebody tell me how to make that stop. Okay. It says, full details on all this and more in today's feature article and podcast here. So I will click on it and put the link in the description box so that you can check this out if you want to know more. With that, I'm going to say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.